So let's talk about Sonic Frontiers. We finally saw the reveal, a cinematic reveal, which is something that I personally did not want to see. I know like for many Sonic fans, we wanted to see gameplay, we didn't see gameplay, so we saw a CGI reveal. So before I go on to the good stuff about um, Sonic Frontiers, let me just get the other trailer out of the way, the Sonic Movie 2 trailer. Personally, I think it looks good. There's not really much to say. I don't, I don't want to make a video talking about the Sonic trailer, <laughs> trailer movie. I think it's just, it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. Seeing Knuckles and his voice, it just fits so well, so there's not much to say about that. Let's get back to Sonic Frontiers. Now, again, before we get started with Sonic Frontiers, let me actually talk about some of the negatives from the trailer, because a lot of people are super hyped up for Sonic Frontiers, rightfully so. We've been waiting so long to see something regarding to the next mainline Sonic game that I will excuse Sonic fans for being overly hyped up from seeing the cinematic trailer, but we have to keep in mind that, which is something that Sonic fans are actually pretty good at. We're, we're very um, skeptimistic when it comes to Sonic games, so I don't have to kind of re radiate that stuff again. But remember, we had the same reaction for Sonic Forces. We saw a cinematic um, CG trailer for you know Sonic Forces. It looked really amazing. It gave us hope. We played the game. It ended up being mediocre. So let's keep this in mind. Now, one of the first negatives that I noticed about this trailer. And this is something I don't think many people have actually touched upon. It's simply the fact that when they started showing the, you know, the open world, is it just me or did it seem like the frame rate dropped down a little bit? There was a little bit of a stuttering that I noticed. Like go back to the trailer and watch it again. The CGI um, footage was really smooth, really cool. Sonic's animation was amazing. But when it cut off to the open world segment of the trailer, it seemed like the panning of the camera wasn't smooth. Everything about the everything about that you know reveal just wasn't smooth in my opinion. <laughs> and, I'm, and I had to go and check my um, YouTube setting to see if I was still at 60 frames per second. It felt like it dropped down to like 45, you know, 45, 32 frames per second in my honest opinion. But that's just one of the negatives that I noticed. The second negative that I noticed is that well, <laughs> it's obvious, no gameplay. Not seeing gameplay actually made me worry a lot because it's just back to back similar to how we got the trailer for Sonic Forces, we got hyped up for it, we, we, we started analyzing everything and then when the game came out it wasn't anything that we wanted to see. But these are the only two negatives that I've noticed. The only two. The one is the frame rate. I, I, I Listen, I want to make sure I'm not the only one to kind of notice that, so if you've also noticed this weird frame rate when the open world segment came up, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's it. And let's talk about the positive, because there's a lot of positives that I want to talk about. Now, one of the first positives is that the game looks amazing. It looks really good. Like, this is something where I'm actually starting to think, maybe Sonic Team didn't actually work on this, but they supervised it and they were able to put their name as the ones who created it because this game looks really really good it's it's doing what i wanted sonic to do just take the graphics to the next level i didn't see any you know loop the loops uh, or anything like that which is a little bit concerning i want to see at least one at least one i don't want it to be you know reminiscent to you know green hill zone but just one i want to see one classic loop the loop so that i can kind of see how Sonic will handle that in a 3d open world environment um, secondly that I noticed is that, um, I guess, um, aesthetically, yeah, it's, it's just, let's see, because, because it's a CGI slash maybe hinting a little bit of the gameplay, something, it just, there's not really much to talk about, personally. We got some extra information outside of the trailer, so, which is that Eggman is still somehow involved in this, so this is pretty much Sonic Unleashed Part 2, in which... Uh, essentially, Eggman finds a secret ancient you know, technology. He tries to combine it with some other power source. It messed it messed up. These things became sentient, or they have the ability now to kind of control themselves. And Sonic now has to try to save himself, and more importantly, his friends. So somehow, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, and all these other characters got involved in the storyline. So Eggman is, is involved, which is you know, obviously a standard thing. Um, we don't know what the um, alien technology, techno thing is all about, but we do know that it's going to be the main force behind 
you know this whole event which so that's why it's <clears throat> that's why it's giving me this Sonic Unleashed vibe which is a good thing for me because the story of Sonic Unleashed I really enjoyed it I think it's a top tier story in my own personal opinion now speaking of the story as well since I'm on that um, topic the writer for the story or the person that's going to be helping with this story narrative is going to be Ian Flynn so if you don't know who Ian Flynn is Ian Flynn is currently the head the person in charge of the Sonic IDW comics and if you haven't read the IDW comics, I'll give you guys a very perfect example. Do you guys remember how Sonic Forces story was pretty fucking shit? Well, in the IDWs, Ian Fling was able to make that story very interesting. Like, it's like I don't know if you guys read the Sonic comics, but for me personally, I do enjoy them. The story narrative is really, really good. The characterization of every character in the comics is well done. So hearing that his name is going to be part of the story narrative, for me personally, it's a big plus, so I'm really, really excited for that as well. There was also the, another thing I wanted to talk about, which was the voice, the ghost voice, the ghost girl thing. So, there was actually um, another trailer came out for the Xbox in a different language, I think it was the Japanese version. And in the Japanese version, the voice was credited to be Amy's voice. So the Japanese version, the Japanese voice actor for Amy was the one that was credited. Um, she tweeted out, Wait, wait I'm, I'm a little bit lost here. Japanese voice actor for Amy tweeted out something in regards to the voice that we heard in the trailer. But obviously that tweet has not been deleted and the Xbox trailer has been reworked to take away the caption that says Amy over here or something like that. So maybe the ghost girl that we, that the obviously the leakers were claiming to be a new character may have ended up just being Amy with guiding Sonic from a different plane which is why I think this game is more like Sun um, Breath of the Wild than we care to admit because when you play Link, who's the voice that you keep hearing guiding you in your journey? It's Zelda, so I think they're using Amy as a replica of Zelda Amy is probably somewhere off in an interdimensional place where we don't know where she is and she's helping Sonic along the way. Cool, whatever. But honestly, um, seeing this, it's pretty much confirmed. Whatever the leak that came from 4chan, I believe, or was it the Zippo leak? I'm not too sure which one, but whatever, whichever one that got the name Sonic Frontiers first, it's pretty much true. Everything that they've been saying is true. <laughs> so, hopefully there's momentum in the game. I don't think, I think they confirmed momentum in this um, game, but I don't know. It has to be momentum. Like open world Sonic games with a stagnant speed will not work. It has to be momentum based. And secondly, there has to be so much to do. Like when I was looking at you know the open world environment, one of the first few things that I was looking for in that trailer was to see what Sonic could do with his maneuver. Could he jump? Could he parkour? Could he wall run? Could he swing on vines? Could he do parkour tricks? Is there things that he can do? The, the world seems really open and vast and it seems to be hinted at being different, you know, in biome. So we're going to be able to go to deserts, icelands, um, you know, rich green lush forest areas and maybe some caves and things like that. So I'm really excited for that because there's a great opportunity to create some really amazing stuff. Now I remember that the leaker also said that Sonic seemed out of place in the world. Now obviously I don't think this person is a Sonic fan per se, is that Sonic has always been in places where he shouldn't really be. So for me, I got used to that instantly because I've already seen Sonic in places where he doesn't fit in and it, it seems fine to me. Now of course maybe if you were to try and compare it to the Sonic, um, Sonic Unreal Engine fan game, you could make an argument that yo it seems a little bit out of place but I don't think it's something that's gonna bother anyone who's a Sonic fan. It's only gonna bother people who've never played Sonic games before and they're gonna be weirded out by the fact that he seems to be in a very lush, detailed environment and this is an anthropomorphic fictional character running around in it, so I don't know, it depends on who you ask. For me personally, this trailer is good, it's CGI, my only concern is the frame rate because that's the one thing I peaked as soon as the trailer switched from the CGI to what I believe to be in-game um, graphics. So there was CGI and then there was in-game graphics. It wasn't gameplay but there was in-game graphics but it looked like the frame rate was kind of struggling with that. And you know in an open world game, some games have suffered from frame rates because of it so I'm hoping that they can fix that, make sure that it, it's all you know smooth. Sonic has to be, play has to be played at 60 frames per second. 
Now, if, if they were to lock it at 30 frames per second, I personally would not tolerate that. I think we've moved past 30 frames per second. We should be in the age of 60 frames by now, but I don't know. It all depends on who you ask at this point. But yeah, anyways, that's it for me. There's not really much for me to say at this point. I've I waited a little bit to see if there's any more new information that's going to be coming out. Not new. Um, I'm just happy because the story is going to be handled by someone who I've seen their work in, in the IDW comics, so I know that he's going to be good at that. Yeah, there's not really much to say. I mean, Sonic looked really good in CGI. Sonic always looks good in CGI, but I think what gave me a little bit more hope as well is that because the name of the game was confirmed, it was confirmed to be open world, we know now that the stages are going to be unleashed and generation gameplay style which is something i'm looking forward to like this is something we've been asking for for such a long time so i'm really happy about that and the open world if it's momentum based it's a w it's just w all around like i'm not expecting this game to be a 10 out of 10 <laughs> it's, it's not possible let's be real here it could be i have faith but it's not possible a 7 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 sunny game is something that i just want i'll be satisfied with that I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd be okay with that personally. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the um, Sonic Frontier Shredder. Um, I'm trying to make sure I haven't forgotten anything, anything important. I'm sure the Sonic community are gonna be nitpicking every single detail um, about the game to make sure that we see and learn everything that there is to learn. Let me just look quickly on um, on Twitter to see what the Sonic fans are saying. I saw so many people being excited for this. This is just a W for the Sonic community. Um, <laughs> first the movie, now this. Yeah, the leakers were true. The leakers were true. Um, now, there is something I would like to see. Since they mentioned that Sonic is going out of his way to save his friends, I'm hoping that uh, once you do save your friends and you finish the story, those friends become playable characters so that, let's say there are certain areas that Sonic just can't reach because of his you know, natural nativeness to speed. Maybe you can use Tails to fly up there or Knuckles to dig into the ground to find hidden buried treasures. Um, I don't know who they'll be able to um, add in the, in the game, or they could even do post content so we can get DLCs because open world games, you know, you can always add DLCs, a great opportunity to maybe bring in characters who probably wouldn't have fit in in the story at the moment but could fit in in content, post content stuff. So let's say for example, Shadow could be involved in some small DLC where we can be able to play as him afterwards, maybe Silver could also be involved somehow, maybe Big the Cat, maybe, you know. Vector and um, you know SPO and all these characters. I don't know. They, 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 now that it's an open world, I'm, it, there's so much possibility. There's just so much possibility with this game. If they can get this right, if they can just get this right, bro, this could be it. A momentum-based Sonic the Hedgehog game in an open world environment, and then on top of that, with boost formula mechanic, this could be the new standard. Which this what um, what's his name again? Is Isushi? I don't know. He's, uh, I don't know the director's name, but this is the direction that the Sonic team wants to take Sonic to. They want to be able to make this new game the standard for future games going forward. So if they can just get the momentum down right, the boost formula down right, and just the storyline down right, I mean, we could be seeing a new age for Sonic essentially. But yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.